Okay, Houdini 16.5 introduced an amazing new hotkey manager. So in under edit, I'll go to hotkeys and that will bring up this manager here. Now, you might have noticed that if you press D in the viewport, for example, it will bring up the display options. If you press D in the network view, it will bring up the network view display options. Okay, so it's context sensitive. So in here, I can search, search for D and you'll see it shows display options, D, all of that stuff. And then it shows the path. Okay, so it's context sensitive to a pane or panel. And in here, if you hover here, okay, it says Odini panes forward slash geometry viewers. And down here we have panes forward slash network editor. Okay. And you can find this context to the left here. You see you have context. You have Houdini, for example, you have this drop down and you have panes. Then you can click on D, for example, and it shows you here the hotkeys that are set. Okay, so that's cool and everything. Let's look at how this is useful. I'll drop a box in here. I'll copy this and I'll just move this one over here and tab, drop down and merge. Okay. And we have Y set to be the hotkey that we use for the cut tool. Okay. Now let's say we want to change that to X. So I'll bring up the hotkey manager again. And you can actually just search for cut in here. And down here you have cut wise mode. Or I'll just remove that. Or you can go and dig in here and under panes and under network editor uh, you can click on y here and it says assign to cut wires mode okay and within network editor here it shows you the actions and the related hotkeys so down here we have x set to visualize output and so we can swap those okay so i actually have cut wires mode up here we can search for it doesn't matter really how you find it so cut wires mode you can just double click in here and I'll set that to X. It'll warn you to say that it has X is set to something else. So you can just remove other. Okay. And then it is now set to both of those X and Y. So I can remove Y from here and maybe I'll swap that with the visualize output down here now. I can set that to Y instead. Okay. And you have apply. So I like to mention that you also have the ability to save and save as and to import and export, right? As all of that is up here. If you have a, someone else's basically and you want to import that, or you export yours to save it off and you can reset. So typically I do reset all, but let's just check this out now. So now Y is set to the visualizer. So I click on a node. Okay, that drops down this visualize node. So I'll just delete. And which was previously set to X. Now X is set to this cut mode, to this cut tool. Okay, and to reset, I'll just go in here, reset, reset all, and apply and accept. And now Y is set to the cut mode, and X is set to that visualize thing. Select that and delete. Okay, so that's a quick look at the hotkey manager. I'm not going to cover every single feature, but it is very nice. As you can see, you can hide the, the keyboard down here. You can click on a button to see what it you know has. And you can remove and edit in here if you want and so on. So it's fairly easy to use. This is definitely a big improvement over what we had to do before to change hotkeys. It's very user friendly and goes along nicely with the improvements to the network view that the network editor that they that they added in Houdini 16. Okay, I'll just delete the merge node and the extra box geometry. So let's say we want a shortcut for one of these tools in the shelf. So how can we do that? Well, one way other than searching for it in the hotkey manager is let's say we come in here in the poly tab okay that polygon tab and so let's say we want to assign a hotkey to one of these tools 
So let's say the edge loop tool, for example. So Control Alt and Shift, and then left click on that, and that will bring up the hotkey manager again. And as you can see, we are currently in here, okay, in Houdini context, and it will go right to the action, so the edge loop action. So let's say we want to assign L to this. Well, we can left click on L and we can see it's already assigned to lots of things. But we don't see Alt L in here, so maybe we go with Alt L. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll double click in here, then go Alt L, and you'll see that it'll assign that, and I'll click Apply and Accept. And now I okay, have this box selected, Alt L, and you'll see that drops down a polysplit node, and I get my loop tool, my edge loop tool. Cool, so let's say we want to do something else. For example, you can do the bevel tool, but another example here maybe is the poly extrude. So again, you can do Control, Alt, Shift, and left click on that. Okay, and that'll bring up this and go right to that. But another thing you can actually do is you can right click on the poly extrude, go edit tool, that'll bring up this window here. Okay, and under the hotkeys in the scene viewer, go in here under in this section under edit, and you'll see that brings up this thing too. It goes in the context where that is geometry viewer, poly extrude, and let's say we look for what's in here. So for E, for example, you have E, you have shift E, and so on. Now, of course, you can go and override things and remove things, change things up where you have conflicts. But for now, we just want to keep it simple. So we'll just go with Control E maybe, okay? So double click in here. I have Poly Extrude selected, right? Double click in here, Control E. We won't get any errors. If we had something like E, so I'll remove that. Double click in here, press E. Again, you'll get a warning. Okay, if you click on that, you'll get this warning. So I'll remove this, Control E works. Apply and accept. And in here, I'll apply and now you see that shows up in the scene viewer. It's kind of grayed out, but you'll see it there and I click accept. I'll select this, Control E, and that drops down the node and I get my tool handle and all that stuff. Okay, so there are a number of ways that you can assign hotkeys. So I hope you find the section useful.